everybody, this is Perch, and um, here's where I want to point out just a little bit of, and not, not hypocrisy, but that may be hypocrisy, I don't know. Here's where, uh, I, okay, uh, let me back up a second. I like Rick and Morty. I like the show. Why do I like it? Uh, in many cases, because it's it's dumb. I'm not one of the people who watch Rick and Morty and, and get into the, uh, you know, the complexity is like, oh, you know, super fan theory. In many cases, I think I'm probably the viewer that the creators like because the, the creators seem to get annoyed by the fans who want to put in a bunch of canon and backstory and everything else. I mean, if you look at this as just, this is, you know, Marty McFly and Doc Brown, uh, but a drunker, more abusive Doc Brown and a dumber Marty McFly, and they're having adventures where they just do absurd stuff. I, I, I enjoy that. I enjoy it for the absurdity of the show, not for I don't think there's a, a hidden, deeper meaning. I'm not one of those psychopaths who shows up at McDonald's and tries to get uh, Szechuan sauce uh, or, you know, or any of that kind of stuff. I mean, it's <laughs> the joke in there is like, hey, McDonald's promotion Mulan Szechuan sauce was gross back in the day. Uh, cool if, you, you know, the show popularizes it to the point that people want to go back and, and have that again. Uh, but it's still gross. <laughs> Like, just go to your grocery store. Get get good Szechuan sauce. Don't be the McDonald's sauce of anything. I don't care if it's McDonald's, Arby's. You, you knew Arby's was coming. Burger King, whatever else. You're you're not getting you know five star gourmet sauce with a Happy Meal. I you, you do realize that, right? I mean, you know, nothing against it. It's fine. I eat fast food plenty. It's it's it serves a need. It's good. But I'm sorry, I've gone astray. Anyway, I like that show. I, I think it's fine. I think that there's some some lessons in just, you know, you, you, you get a premise, you line it up, you roll it out. I think that would be great for um, for more people to learn and figure out. Okay. Um, I understand there's a whole cult of weirdos around Rick and Morty, and some of the fans get really bizarre about it. And it's it's like, like anything else, whether they're Poison Ivy fan stands or Snyder Cut stands or whatever the F that everybody's all up in arms about. You know, it seems like every fandom can turn batshit crazy if you just give it enough time. And it seems like Rick and Morty uh, certainly has done that on, on occasion. But if you're like me, you just you watch the show. It's fun. The end. Yeah, no mufflers in Texas. There's just no mufflers in Texas. That, anyway, annoying as hell. Uh, so uh, Screen Rant, a, uh, a website that posts a lot of clickbait. They'll post things like, uh, you know, hey, the, the miss... You know, Marvel trailer is about to drop. We're overdue for a trailer, aren't we? I think we are. Anyway, hopefully soon. Um, you know, when's that coming? Is Moon, Moon Knight's coming out first and then Miss Marvel? I, I don't know. I have a loose track. I'm sure there, there's a Miss Marvel. By the time this video is posted, I'm sure the Miss Marvel trailer will have dropped. Anyway, uh, Screen Rat will do things like uh, six secret things you never knew about, you know, blah, 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 blah. Or... You know, Emma Watson just had the perfect response to an online troll. It, 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 these, these are garbage articles um, and nothing of value. Um, tend, to, tend to be, they're clickbait. So uh, Screen Rant has regularly, regularly pissed on fans who complain about live action remakes. So what are, what are examples of these? Well, we had the Cowboy Bebop live action remake. Um, it lost somehow the charm of the original, among many other things. But, you know, some people liked it. Some people did not. Lots of videos were made. Uh, we're about to get the One Piece live-action remake, which fills me with dread and horror. No, not because what one of the uh, sub-actors, uh, very much a supporting actor, is trans, and they put pronouns in the uh, Netflix One Piece announcement, which I find silly, just putting the pronouns in there. I mean, for God's sake, you're just you're, you're trying to do a quick announcement of things, but you won't provide You know what? It's your dollar, Netflix. You can do whatever you want. But, but anyway, um, it's not because of that reason I dread it. It's because One Piece has an energy and a, a frantic feeling to the cartoon that was great, that is great. It's still coming out, and it's wonderful. You don't need to do a live-action series for it. I, I think the, the best series is the one that's been made and is being made right now. You don't need more. Uh, the opportunity to F it all up just increases when you, when you go live-action. There's just no way you'll be able to capture that. I would love to be wrong. But I, I feel like all it's going to do is uh, basically come out. It'll be subpar because all the live action remakes, including all the ones Disney has done. I mean, is anybody enjoying, uh, you know, the, like I wasn't Beauty and the Beast was probably one of the better ones that Disney did. I mean, God, I've got two kids. They've seen them all. Uh, they've sucked. 
bluntly. I, the Jungle Book was. I think the Jungle Book wasn't too bad. I mean, if my memory serves, I mean, I've erased a lot of this stuff from, from my mind. But uh, Mulan, uh, forgettable. Uh, that uh, Cinderella one, very forgettable. Uh, what was it? The Lion King, awful. Just, just. I mean, you can go down the line. The live action remakes, no matter what's going on with them, whether they're politically correct, not politically correct, what, whatever, they've sucked, and they have for a long time. All the way back to like Super Mario Brothers the movie. I mean, it's a cult classic and it's it's silly, but it's not good. None of this stuff is good. When they did that He-Man uh, live action film with Dolph Lundgren, it was not good. Again, some of us, uh, you know, you were around the '80s, you probably have fond memories of this thing as something kind of cheesy, but it's still not good. Uh, if you, you know, it, uh, it, the original that Transformers the movie where Unicron showed up was eating the crap out of planets and Rodimus Prime and all that kind of stuff. Watch that movie and then watch the Michael Bay Transformers movie. I, I'm sorry. I, even the, the, I mean, even though Michael Bay Transformers movie has, it's cool seeing live action Transformers, not as good as the original cartoon. Uh, not for me anyway. Same thing goes for G.I. Joe, whatever they're doing over there. Anyway. So, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, but Screen Rant has regularly bitched at fans who have complained about the live action remake, in particular the anime. Like when Cowboy Bebop came out, everybody complained. How dare, you know, the toxic fandom is once again attacking poor Netflix for dead. It's weird how these corporations, by the way, need to have shills coming to their defense. As, as aside from everything else, and maybe this is just the Gen Xer in me, I find it bizarre that we live in a world now where giant mega corporations, be it Disney, be it, you know, Warner, be it, uh, whoever it happens, you know, whoever the giant corporation is, there's people who line up to defend them. Uh, when did when did when did we decide that billion dollar companies needed a bunch of uh, you know public defense? That, that just, that, that's bizarre to me. That's not how not how it used to be when I was a kid. Anyway, so Screen Rant has regularly complained about this uh, live action you know remake. The, the fans who are complaining about the live action remakes, how dare these killjoys? Everything else. And then I stumbled across this article. Now, this was um, March 5th, 2022. Uh, no, wait, hang on. I'm wrong. I've got the wrong article up. It's uh, earlier than that. It's October 16th, 2021. So several months ago. And what's the name of their article? Well, it's why a live action Rick and Morty would never work. And in this, we get a little article about, uh, you know, a non-animated version of the series would never work thanks to its gore and ambition. And then it, uh, you know, it, it goes on. It gives, it's a long, rather dumb article. But it, it talks about show freewheeling approach. Uh, they did this Christopher Lloyd, Jaden Martell uh, bumpers where there was a live action Rick and Morty. They were used to promote the series uh, just as kind of a joke. Um, and, it's, uh, and then it goes on and on about kind of different realities. And it would take a lot of money. And it's comically gory. And you couldn't do that with it. Because things like Cowboy Bebop are definitely not gory. No. Nah. I mean, One Piece, which has a uh, character that is, whose power is literally the chop-chop fruit, where you chop them into pieces and then they can fly around as little bits of flesh and then reassemble themselves. It's, it's all fine. That's fine. Not gory enough. But Rick and Morty, uh, too gory, uh, you know, too ambitious because it does too much. Because, you know, we can't, we can't, you know, once again, Cowboy Bebop, eh, not not ambitious at all. Not not that it's set in space and is doing everything. Not that uh, One Piece has a complete different world and pirate ships and powers and everything else. No, no, no. But but Rick and Morty, that's one line too far. And then uh, you know the hero is too young, so that would also be weird. Like they go through all these reasons why you can't. You, you know the cartoon is good as it is. You can't do that live action. It would just suck. It would it would ruin the experience. It'd be bad. So my question is, what in the hell? Uh, screen rent. Why is it that you can recognize correctly, I might add, that Rick and Morty shouldn't be a live action uh, show? You should never try and do that in live action. But you, you, uh, on the other hand, in exactly the same breath, you turn around and say any criticism of a, you know, a, a Cowboy Bebop or a One Piece or whatever other, you know, show they're about to bastardize by by making it live action. Why is it that those people that make those comments, now those are the toxic fans. Those are the ones that are, you know, everything, anything, bigoted, sexist, transphobic, other phobic, you know, scared of spiders, I, whatever it happens to be. Those fans are all the terrible people. But, uh, but you know, so, so what, why? What's the difference? 
Well, the only thing I can think of is that it's, uh, you know, for whatever reason, Rick and Morty is in this weird little corner of the universe where it's okay to shit on those fans. It's okay to shit on that series. Um, I saw an article once of, uh, you know, the, the 10 shows that uh, you should, if the guy you're dating is a fan of those shows, you should run away screaming. They had like Fight Club on there. And then they had, uh, hilariously, they had like American History X. And like, if your boyfriend is super into the white supremacist characters of uh, that movie, then uh, you should run away. It's like, yeah, no shit. If you're, yeah, if you're, if your boyfriend is uh, plotting the murder of people based on the color of skin, yeah, yeah, you should probably go and call the police on your way. That would be a good plan. Yes, movie actually has nothing to do with it. Um, they they had uh, what else did they have on? They had the um, uh, American Psycho, and they had Rick and Morty. You know, uh, uh, people who like those shows are clearly toxic, awful people. So, but but I do I just find it puzzling that you can correctly identify that adapting cartoons is a bad plan. That you know there's a, there's an art to the original series. It is not captured in the original. You don't get it in live action. It just doesn't come across well. And you should respect the source material. You should actually, you know, acknowledge the fact that, hey, the, the original is actually pretty cool all by itself. It's, it's, it's good. You should, you should embrace that fact. Um, but, not, but, but you do that for some and not for others. Why? Again, what's the difference here? What's the common denominator? Please, by all means, people come in, explain to me how uh, one series is is uh, you know it is. It, I, I don't know. You I, fuck it. I want to hear it. What? Why? Why does one series get the hey? Anyone who criticizes a live action remake is a toxic, awful, horrible human, and this other series over there, nah, nah, you could you can't possibly do that. What's the difference here? What's what's mistaken? I, as you can tell, what I'm passionate about here is I can't stand. This idea that we have to convert all these things into animation. Uh, so, sorry, from animation into live action. I think they're good as is. I think it comes down to a general insecurity about animation. Animation is seen as lesser, but it's not. Animation's often pretty rad, just as it is. And I think, you know, clearly, you know, these things make money. By exa- for example, by the way, I don't know if Sony has plans to do a live action Miles Morales, but maybe it shouldn't. Maybe if you're Sony, what you should do instead is just figure out a way to every two years crank out a badass Into the Spider-Verse style Miles Morales because that looked pretty cool. The animation was good. Story was decent. Movie was entertaining. My kids liked it. Lots of people seem to like it based on the box office. How about you keep doing that? Disney has proven a long time ago that animation can make lots and lots of money. Pixar seems to be doing fairly well for itself. So why not just let some things be cartoons? And if you have a cartoon, how about you resist the temptation to say, hey, why don't we turn this into a uh, cheaply made shitty Netflix uh, thing? And then in the process of doing this, if the fans complain, then we'll sick our uh, weird little, you know, watchdogs after them to uh, scream and, and cry that anyone complaining is a is a bigot uh, because, you know, Netflix needs defending. It's a poor you know, it's a charity, basically. It, it needs a bunch of people who are spend their days uh, trying to defend it. That's, that's, of course, what it needs. Anyway, I don't know. I'll get off this topic, but uh, thanks for listening.